All right, what's up, guys? As always, welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle, which is truly the Scarra and Rantego up against Nelly or Isabella, uh, which have been trying for quite some time, or we have been trying to battle each other, and it just never panned out. But finally, we got this work. Now, Nelly is a very, very good Wi-Fi battler, as in, I expect top line defenses. This is also going to be a post com narrative battle, and. It, the reason is because I actually forgot to turn on the microphone throughout the three remaining games I made and that's um, That sucks now her team is actually really rough as in very well constructed with Victini um, Your Shifu, you know the, the searching strike variant red eyes, which was her kind of hook that she was trying something else with uh, with the red eyes and the Lego Landris and Malorek straight at it. I felt I had Pokemon that was going to be able to pressure her, but maybe not that well. So my intention was to kind of break through early, try to chip away Mons so Kangaskhan can kind of retaliate. I really want to stick web up early, and my intention of getting that right was to somehow get rid of Landers early. So from the get-go, she's actually going to start off with the your Shifu, which was definitely not ideal as isolated with Lur Slurpuff with Focus Sash. Searching Strike of Fools will break through the Sash. I will not risk that, so I'm gonna send him Lurantis mainly because he's gonna soak hits. Because that's what it does. It's a very, very defensive mon. It actually is able to keep some distance uh, from. Um, <laughs> from your Shifu. Your Shifu is actually really really strong, but Lurantis has a very viable defensive stance. Do it slow, clearly, but uh, defensively it works alright. Now, had she close combat there, it would probably have been rougher. It's, I feel it's a choice bandit set. It does so much damage that it feels like that makes sense. Now, I'm not gonna over predict. I know Victine is a safe switch in mainly because well, like the best move I got in theory would be Naka, which I don't carry. So I'm not overthinking stuff here. I just directly, even though I know Victoria comes in, gonna recover myself to be able to stomach your Shifu again. So we're good. Like we're back on track now. I have two mods I can't switch in versus Victini, but the one that makes most sense is Omnicrom or my Sid Scorch. As due to Flash Fire, I really hope I can kinda get through it. Though I know a U-turn could be a play, as it's super effective no matter what, but even if it is, it's definitely not against me. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, so now Nelly will bring, if I remember correctly, I think it was Landorus. And uh, I'm expecting Stealth Rock. I was feeling the way the team was synergized and constructed, that a defensive Landorus made more sense um, for Stealth Rocks and Defogs. So I felt I can easily send an Urchin, just set up Sticky Web, and by the way, not waste clearly my um, <laughs> not waste my uh, focus sash in vain. Actually, be able to say in to soak an earthquake and activate my sash if possible. So stick web easiest play I ever made, and uh, she actually U turn. And I thought that was way worse, mainly because that means it's a private version, of course. But also, I wanted me chip down. I wanted to capitalize on possible and ever and whatnot. Uh, because now my sash is wasted, so I'd probably be better off with using something like, oh, I don't know, um, <laughs> Citrus. Anyway, I'm actually gonna stay in versus this matchup. I was thinking, she's gonna close combat, overthinking this as Laurent is such a, you know, good switch and I can retaliate with a missed explosion. Well, she goes for the Surgeon Strikes, and that's, that sucks. Because, well, of course it kills. Uh, there is no way I would take in three of those anyway, but it's just such a shame. It's an overprediction, sure, but I felt it was so obvious that Lorantis just eats this matchup alive. So, here was just leveling. I should definitely go into combo. I was thinking Lucille first, the combo, or I mean the Kangaskhan, and even Barolas, but I realized that, you know, I have, it has to be banded. I have a free setup with Belly Drum and Scale Shot. The only switching she got is Ladders versus this. And if I'm lucky, um, she's just gonna take that play and you know, her intimidate is gonna be negated by the Belly Drum on the switching. So I felt, fuck this, let's do this. I have a fair switching on my hand. And in theory, I win. It's a win button. In theory. Yeah, reason I say that is because this game is definitely longer than the win button I'm talking about. So letter comes in, I make the right call, and I felt very, very cocky here. 
because you know I get the Belladrum and even if it is defensive I should be able to outspeed and skill shot should be able to kill it I'm pretty convinced about that and um, I was hoping two skill shot was gonna be range to killing it though you know you always get three four five even in some cases or in worst case miss right you all seen that part so go for skill shot it is not a two hit kill so I need to get one more but I only get those two hits and her strongest move is earthquake and now I have minus one defense so you know what that earthquake is gonna absolutely sting me and uh, yeah yeah definitely not a great time now I could have drain punched and I realized that now when I look at the game though it probably wouldn't make a differ as a scale shot again basically negating any scoffer to be able to beat me so the Yoshifu if it's a scarf set is now beaten by the Kamo but I know better now I know better now and it's gonna be the first thing she sends in and I already said on a live recording you know it's definitely awkward yet but there is no point of me saving the Kamo and over predict her I think I go for it and drain punch just in case uh, I was leveling here, you know, are there situations here I could be you get benefited, you know? I mean, I win here if it isn't having alcohol yet, but it has alcohol yet, so fuck this. I lose combo, it's fine. I think the game is actually better for it because it does force me to actually play a bit more smarter. So, you know, that's a rough thing though, like, now I have stick web on the field, which definitely benefit me somewhat. Um, Molinia is definitely like my strongest play, I think, or my, um... What's it called? The toxic sparkling thing. Damn, toxicity. I couldn't remember the name. Anyway, Volt Switch is my safest play. I know Red Eyes probably is the best switch in. And the rumor has it that Red Eyes is a specially defensive beast with 100 and or 200 special defense. So even, if, even my best hit probably doesn't do it a whole lot. And consider the damage here. That's an Assault Fist. Yeah, it's the best set. Easy. But yeah, I mean, I have two really good switch in, in both Kangaskhan and my Omnicrom or Senta Scorch. So Senta Scorch is actually gonna take a center stage here, as I have a free call, man. There is no way this Red Eyes can do anything to me, so call up, baby. And plus, I outspeed it, which is even better. So my Lodic comes in, and I'm invested enough to beat you know, a defensive melodic, uh, basically one speed over 181 base speed. So I felt confident go for a power with pair. I think it was a rather safe play, but turns out she has some investment, which you know, it, it, that is all right. I mean, it doesn't do anything necessarily to me. Toxic is annoying, sure, but that's about it. And this power whip gonna absolutely not ruin it, but definitely put it in range. <laughs> and. Um, well, you know, Senta Scorch is somewhat special defensive, so I can easily stay in here and go for Leech Life. And, um, you know, she got Skull, and I think it does around 40, maybe. Nah, it looks 50-ish, maybe. You know, I am trying to boost my mentality here. Yeah, it's definitely 40, 50, 10%. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, Leech Life does plenty, and um, I get some fair recovery. And I have matchup I beat. Um, Victini, I don't fear it yet. And uh, I definitely don't be or don't fear Red Eyes. I think Nehalego is like the bond that probably forced me out by default. Uh, she sends out the V Drive. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm standing here. Her best move would be send headbutt. But it turns out it's not even that. And yeah, she's taking a long time here too. So I'm thinking, she's thinking, what would be my play if I stayed in? But she is a special one. Goes for Future Sight, which definitely kept me calm, as it meant my call or my leash life is gonna recover a plenty good chunk. And um, just leveling here, like next leash life should definitely kill this Victini, and I should be very well suited for the end game here. Uh, Toxic, of course, racking up, but definitely getting Victini out of the way means that my other mods can definitely do wonders. Or in theory, as always. I think close combo looks kind of tough on me, but yeah, in theory, both um, my Toxtricity and Kangaskhan looked really good. Yeah, I was leveling back and forth. I was like, you know, are there switches here I should consider? But it stays in, and she goes for Scorching Sand, it won't do anything to me, and the leech life is a KO. And yeah, it's impressive. I thought I'd never see the day. Sent the Scorch dealt head on with a Victini, 
and barely got a scratch like that's for me that's very new <laughs> and i liked it <coughs> oh sorry beer stuck in my throat <laughs> i liked that one a lot and um to be honest, like I felt Neho Lego was gonna definitely come in here. It's the man I gotta deal with head on. So it comes in. I was like, yeah, it gets minus one speed here. Maybe, maybe I am able without speed. It, it's very unlikely, but if I do, it's a wrap. But she got meteor beam, you know, they usually do. It's a very, very powerful set. Uh, but usually when I have Meteor Beam, they don't have Power Game. They just have Sludge Wave or Sludge Bomb together with Thunderbolt and Field Moves like Grass Knot and whatnot. So I wasn't too worried here. I mean, the defeat, yeah, sure, it's rough, but I'm, I'm still in the end game. So we see a speed boost here, which, fine. <laughs> it's definitely not over, as um, due to this, I should be able to chip it down with Molinia or my Toxicity, as I expect her best moves to be. You know, every move she got should in theory be resisted here, and uh, a spark should be, well, good enough. Well, it's not called spark, what is it? It's overdrive. But anyway, it should do, you know, not enough, like 30% maybe, because that leave Kangaskhar in the endgame, but she does carry the power gem, and that pretty much means GG, unfortunately for me, because there is no mon on my roster that actually are dealing with this, so... It turns out that it's a pretty rough reverse sweep here for my opponents, and you know Nelly played this game great. Uh, like I said before about the combo situation, yeah, had I get gotten those third strikes with combo and killed the landers before I was able to retaliate, yeah, it would have been an absolute sweep for sure. But I think the contrast of prolonging the game and shifting to getting sent a scorch and a really strong showcase was you know victine and whatnot i think the game was all the better for it because i don't want to short the game hell i want the games to showcase what my mods can do and when i get the chance like this i love it now there is one part here that's, that i think sucks for me and that i should definitely have considered and that was probably carrying earthquake over fire punch but the fire punch is there for the, the scar marine the Quovenites, and the ferrophones that's why we carry fire punch over earthquake because i did manage to somehow survive that hit but yeah there was no way i was gonna win this matchup eventually and you know Boros is not gonna do anything. I was hoping that a combination of Leaf Sword and Super Power was able to deal with the remaining months, but if I'm not able to beat Nihalego, then there's no point of dreaming. So to Nelly, thank you so much for this game. It was an incredible ride. And for everybody who's watching, as always, thank you for doing just so. Don't forget to of course leave a like and subscribe, and whatnot, and join the Discord group if you wanna battle me, which you know the dumb ideas that I actually carry out with. So with that said guys, as always, thanks for watching and have a great day, alright? Take care.